Well, the thing about farming is we stand on the shoulders of our grandparents to create a future for our children. It's all because of the work that they put in. It's a definition of sustainability, and we're hoping to continue that trend, which means that we're not hoping to just leave things as they are. We're hoping to improve them. We're hoping to leave things for the next generation, generation four, in a better position than it was when I started farming. So when we think about doing all that, we have to think about the long term when it comes to our land. It's why we practice a wide, you know, diverse crop rotation. It's why we do soil testing. That's why we make sure that the inputs that we apply to our crops match what the crops need. We have great big fields, great big blocks. We're managing them in, you know, potentially up to six different zones in that field that's getting a different treatment, that's getting handled in the way that it needs to be handled, whether that means it has more fertility applied or maybe none, depending on what the soil needs. So the advent of GPS, the advent of better computer technology and agronomics to allow us to do all of this stuff has made tremendous strides on sustainability on our farm. So decades ago, it was quite common to, before seeding, go into the field with a cultivator or a disc or something like that and rip up the soil, turn it black. Kind of like if you're planting a garden, you go in and rototill it. Same sort of concept. That concept changed during the 80s and the drought. A lot of farmers realized they didn't have to do it that way anymore. Better seeding technology, companies that started up right here in Saskatchewan that developed new air drills that could seed into the previous year's stubble. So that meant that we didn't need to work the fields anymore. We could seed right into last year's stubble. By doing no-till, we can prevent a lot of carbon emissions from our soils. As soon as you open that soil up, you have a tremendous amount of release of carbon into the atmosphere, along with nutrients like nitrogen. So by keeping the soil covered, by keeping it undisturbed, we're sequestering tremendous amounts of greenhouse gases. We're a multi-generation farm with the goal of passing it on to the fourth. And our farm isn't unique. Most farms have that very same goal. And I think if, if consumers could realize that and understand that, you know, our farms are family operations. The big farms you see with the big bin yards and the big equipment, predominantly family run, family owned operations. Families that run businesses like this care about what they're doing. They care about making things better. They care about leaving things better for the next generation. That's what we're all about. And that's what most farms in this part of the world are about as well.